Good evening and thank you for watching this video. And to those who are watching me on Facebook Live, hello. And to those who are watching me on YouTube and on Laika, I, I just want to say thank you. I mean, I'm really doing this video for all of you um, because there's just so much appreciation. Um, there's an outpouring of, a, of, a, of appreciation for the work that I've been posting. But my heart is also, I think, overflowing with so much gratitude for all of you guys messaging and supporting. And I'm only getting started. I mean, I've been on the app just, I think, a, a couple of weeks. And I'm grateful. I, I, I think, uh, I really don't know how to share this, but except that I'm just full of gratitude today. And I wanted to say that like, it's significant because today is um, the, the, the birthday of my sister. She passed away in 1995. It was one of the most difficult times in my life, my family's life. And there, there has been also an outpouring of kindness from people who have um, seen the posts that I posted on Facebook. Uh, I'm grateful that all of you are also following me on Instagram. Maybe I wanted to share a little bit about, um, as a way of saying thank you sa inyong lahat, uh, especially people on Laika. Of course, Facebook, you guys have been with me for years and years, and it just keeps, I think the reach has just been growing more, and the appreciation for the content that I've been sharing has been growing as well, and I'm just very grateful. Um, this is a prayer, I think, that I that I was praying, I don't know, a few weeks ago, and it's always been... Parang like I did like a, a life assessment. Like what are the most important things in, in life? And for me, it was about sharing. It was about sharing my life journey and sharing inspiration and encouragement to people who might need it in life. And then in that process of what yung sinasinasagutan ko was also about like why, um, what's the void that you're, you're trying to fill when you're doing this work? And for me, it was understanding that um, maybe growing up and uh, you know i know we all have different uh, experiences growing up but maybe growing up i did not get to feel or experience th this level of encouragement and love and uplifting and inspiration um, in in my in my environment and not that people around me were bad it was just, they were also going through their own life challenges um anyway i i hope that i get to i'll go back to to my story but i hope that Mapanood nyo to as a video. If not, then you'll be listening to my voice. But on, on Facebook, this is a live video that I'm, I'm posting because I wanted to share it here. So um, I think when tragedy hits you, and I know a lot of you listening to this or watching this have gone through your own share of uh, tragedies in your life. And, and even if you haven't, we all still could use a little bit of uh, encouragement and uplifting and inspiration every day because I know and I would say a majority of people lumaki tayo na that there's just a lot of struggle there's just a lot of discouragement and you've heard the saying that hurt people hurt people and unfortunately many of us as little children I could be speaking to you tonight or depending on which time of the day you're listening to this um, this could be you where maybe as a little child all you wanted was to, you know, for your parents to be proud of you, to, to find acceptance and and love, and maybe to be hugged. Maybe um, it was connection that you were looking for. Um, hi, Melissa. Thanks for for watching Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, hey, Liz. What's up? Uh, or is that Luz? Hi, Luz. Um, so, but many of us don't get it, and. A lot of you who are going through some form of struggle today, and I'm, I'm sharing the nature of the work I do for a lot of you who are trying to get to know me, why I'm, I'm posting these kinds of posts, why I go live, why I share uh, you know, like audio broadcasts and, and podcasts. It's because I know so many of us have been traumatized in some way with our past experience. Uh, Italy is watching. Hello, Luz. I appreciate you. Buongiorno, or whatever time it is there. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and a lot of our struggles in life today, yung mga, yung mga, ano to, yung mga, you know, like the pain, yung kahirapan in relationships, or maybe a lot of you have been saying, you've been looking for peace of mind. I'm seeing your posts on like, uh, you, you've been searching for this and that. Some of you were saying like you've always been after or, or looking out for other people's happiness and nakalimutan mo na yung mo. 
and that's very depleting for so many people ibig sabihin nauubos na yung um yung pagmamahal na pwede mong ibigay because and there's nothing wrong with it let's let's be clear it's so wonderful to be able to give to your family and encourage and love and pray for them and you know provide financial support which which you guys are all doing that's all wonderful but then i know a lot of you are having these realizations na maybe you've also been feeling guilty when you start giving to yourself pag binibigyan mo na yung sarili mo you feel terrible you feel bad and this is a reminder that you know it's okay to give to yourself it's okay to to share love to yourself to give love to yourself and respect and appreciation I think it's been drilled down sa atin, so many of us. Now, it's always about others and others. And people are getting depressed. People are feeling, they're going through life feeling guilty because whenever there's an opportunity for them to receive and to, to give to themselves, they feel like, no, I, I don't, I shouldn't. This should be for other people. It should be for other people. And there's now, I've been researching this heavily this week. There's a lot of scientific uh, data and proof um, that, most and I'm not trying to scare people, but really, most especially when you are in a position where you you hardly ever think of yourself, and ang inisip mo lagi yung ibang tao, you are more susceptible to disease, to to getting sick, to contracting um, autoimmune diseases and um, other. Uh, well, well, won't even mention mental mental uh, health um, issues because you stop caring for yourself, and I think the the main essence of what I'm trying to share here on Leica, here on YouTube, and here on my other social media is that, that you don't have to go through life in pain and suffering, which a lot of people are, are going through. I mean, someone messaged me, 22 years old. He just wants his family to, to be proud of him. He wants his father to be proud of his mom. And but how many of you listening to this or watching this, once you if you don't get to that space where you do get to let other people become proud of you, you beat yourself up. You don't like yourself. Um, and you know, a lot of you are, I know for a fact, are, are crying and locking yourselves in the room. You're beating yourself up. And then I'm here to remind people like, hey, don't be so hard on yourself. Hey, um, this, is the, this is what was posted and this guy shared na what struck him most with this content that I was sharing was to give yourself permission to be happy, which I think a lot of people have not done. It's always about other people being happy. I'm always checking on everyone. And I forgot to check on someone who's also equally important, which is myself, my needs as well. Am I feeling love? Am I getting connection? Am I feeling significant? Am I getting uh, my dose of joy, my, my daily dose of happiness and peace? That is so important to ask yourself every single day. And it's not selfish. I think the, none of us ever wants to feel like bad people. And I think this is where a lot of us get so confused. Like the moment it's about me, then I must be selfish. There must be something wrong with me. And I feel yucky. But you feel yucky when you give to yourself. But you also feel yucky when it's all about other people. And that's, that's a worse kind of yuck. <laughs> because um hey ice thanks for being here because um you, you you are not saying it but you're 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 dying on the inside napakasakit and a lot of you have been commenting on that in, in the posts and i'm also here to be like a presence <laughs> i'm like a spirit being i'm here to be a presence and to say uh you know iiyak niyo yan cry it out and then afterwards, I'm here to remind you, once you're able to let go of that heaviness and that pain, there is hope and there is healing and there's joy and there's light and there's peace and there's, um, there's gratitude after all the stuff that you, you're going through. I'm here to remind people that it doesn't have to be every day is darkness and every day is pain because I know what that's like. And that's why you know, a lot of people are posting about depression and the the, the growing um, suicide rate and it need not be this way but i think it's important to, to have enough people share about uh, life experience but with intention and purpose meaning the, the sharing is purposeful the energy behind what you're posting is 
is very clear. You know, you, 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 we call this like the power of your intentions because it'll definitely reach people. Um, I know I'm, I'm losing sort of like track of why I'm posting this, but I did say it was about gratitude. Um, I'm grateful to, to, to Ice who's here. And if you're listening to me, I, a lot of you are already following her. Um, I'm grateful for a lot of people who have given me an opportunity to be able to share. Um, I won't even say it's my message. I just say this message, this message that has helped me. And it has helped thousands of people who I've worked with um, personally um, over a decade. And it's simple things to see someone smile again. Do you remember the last time that you smiled? I'm not talking about laughter because of something was funny. And then you laugh and it's funny and then you're, you're back to being depressed. Can anyone relate? But I'm talking about smiling and for no apparent reason, but maybe because you just feel so much peace and calm and joy in your heart, in your life, knowing that all is well, knowing that everything is working for good. And even especially, most especially in those times when you don't feel like it is, especially those times. And I'm here to remind people that it is during those times that you've got to take a, take a breath, literally breathe and pause. I share this over and over again because what's overtaken a lot of people is this pattern of overthinking. And I experience it in where you're just, you're just sort of like evaluating everyone and everything around you, family members, your work, God, the government, your life, your colleagues. I mean, everyone around you, like literally, and your mind doesn't stop. And... As they say, the, the ability to not be able to stop uh, thinking, is that right? Well, yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's a dreadful affliction. Well, not the ability, but to, to not be able to stop thinking is a dreadful affliction. Uh, it torments a lot of people because we're, we're, we're trying to, and I hope this helps you guys, maybe changing the, the, the questions that you're asking. And I'll wrap this up. Instead of saying, why me? Bakit ako lagi yung kawawa? Bakit ako lagi yung nasasaktan? Because if you keep asking those questions and you'll keep getting the same answers and the same results, maybe you start asking, what's the opportunity that, that I see here in this situation? What's great about this? How can I learn from this situation? How can I be more loving in this scenario? How can I, be, how can I practice compassion? How can I, what can I see around me now that can shift me to gratitude? And this is not fake positivity. This doesn't mean that every day, you know, you're, you're, you're denying. This has to be a clear message that you're denying what you're feeling. You're denying, you know, the depression that you're experiencing, the darkness, the, the heaviness. You don't deny it. You're always acknowledging emotions. As a matter of fact, there's enough studies to show that repressed anger, repressed emotions is very, very harmful to your body. You're liter literally shutting off. Uh, your immune cells, cells that fight off cancer and disease and viruses, especially now. And you're wondering like, how come people are contracting a virus and they're all exposed to one another? And how come other people who were exposed to these family members are not contracting it? Um, well, there's something to think about, right? And that's why I keep reminding living in fear. And a lot of people are living in oh, Here's Here's some tips. Um, notice when you are living in fear, in anger, in resentment, especially in when you're, you're, you're enraged, that's very dangerous. It just means that a lot of your past memories of hurt and pain have accumulated years and years. And then it's become like a heavy burden, a heavy load on your shoulders. But you're carrying it every day. And the moment you go to bed, the weight does not lift. And in your dreams, and a lot of you are having trouble sleeping, which is so important to, to be able to get you know quality sleep. And in the morning when you wake up, a lot of you are also dreading waking up because you're asking, what is my purpose for, for being here? What is my purpose for waking up even? Like I'm just going through the motions and I'm just going like, a lot of you are asking this question, like what is life all about? What is my purpose for being here? And I'm here to, as much as I can, to share encouragement and sort of like direct you and show people when I can that as you are seeing darkness and all the scary things in life, there's also good, there's also light, there's also kindness, there's also joy, there's also peace, there's also forgiveness. Maybe tonight, if you're listening to this or watching it, maybe start with forgiveness of yourself. Like, What do I need to forgive myself for? For not being perfect. <laughs> forgive yourself for not being perfect, for not having all the answers. 
forgive yourself for all those times that you had an expectation that you should have been this kind of son or daughter, husband or wife, child, uh, friend, whatever, and you did not get to fulfill it. Start there. And I'm guaranteeing you're going to see a lot of things transform in your life. On April 16, 17, and 18, I'm doing a program online. I'm inviting you guys, if you're interested, send me a message. It's a paid program, just to let you know. It's three days. It's just three hours per day, but it's literally life transforming. I mean, all you have to do is try to, to sit in just for the first hour and see if it doesn't um, encourage you and inspire you just in that first hour. Um, I hope I, I get to, to connect with you guys tonight. Again, I'm, I'm just overflowing with so much gratitude and appreciation for all of your kindness. It's just all coming back. And I just wanted to you know, post this appreciation uh, video or audio, depending on how I get to download this. I'll see you guys again soon. Send me a message. What, what You might have a takeaway from this video or this audio. And um, let me know what your takeaway is. I, I love interacting with you guys. I'll see you guys again soon.